Hello everyone, welcome to LRD Prep. My name is Samir Sirtana, a plus educator on Unacademy. Guys, I'm going to start this series of last five years of CAT paper. Under this series, I'll be discussing every quantitative aptitude questions of last five years of CAT paper with the tricks and trip uh, with, with the tricks and concepts to solve the question under one minute. So one minute ke under aap in sabhi questions ko cat ke jo original question hai, kaise solve kar sakta. you'll be learning all those tricks if you follow this whole series. And secondly, the most important thing is you will also realize that the cat paper questions uh, are not based on advanced techniques. You can you can easily do every questions of quantitative aptitude with with basics only right so agar aapke quantitative aptitude ke basics achhe se clear hai you can easily you can easily get through with the cat paper right and by doing these original questions of cat you will realize what are the type of questions which are coming in cat exam and at what level of difficulty you are supposed to prepare yourself for so you this will give you the whole idea how you should be preparing for quant section here right so let's have a look at the first question here i'll be starting from cat 2020 slot 1 episode 1 right so for every uh, a slot, right? I'll be discussing questions of 2020 slot 1, 2, 3, then 19 slot 1, 2, 18 slot 1, 2. Last five years questions of quantitative aptitude will be covered under this whole series. Let's have a look at it. CAT 2021, CAT 2020 slot 1, SICI question. Question says, Viru invested rupees 10,000 at 5% simple interest. And exactly after two years, Joy invested 8,000 at 10% simple annual interest. How many years after Viru's investment will their balances, that means principal plus accumulated interest, will be equal? A basic question of simple interest and interest, right? Simple and compound interest. You know, uh, you must have studied the basic definition of simple interest in you know seventh or eighth standard, right? So this question ko karne ke liye aapko kuch advanced technique ki hai. You just need to know the basic definition of simple interest. See that the question says that Viru ke paas 10,000 rupees hai. Viru have 10,000 rupees and he is investing the money at 5%. So that means Viru money will get increased by 500 rupees every year. 5% ka interest mil raha hai usse. So 10,000 ka 5% is 500. So every year Viru will be earning 500 rupees interest. Now after Viru's investment, right? Viru ki investment ke 2 saal ke baad. 2 years after Viru's investment. Joy has invested 8,000 rupees and the rate of interest that Joy is earning is 10%. That means every year Joy will be earning 800 rupees. That's it. The question may you ask, Viru ke investment ke baad, question says, how, how many after Viru's investment, dono ka paisa same ho jayega? Now, paise ko same karna hai, right? Viru ke paas 10,000 hai, Joy ke paas 8,000 hai. So, gap kitne ka hua? 2,000 rupees ka. And because after two years, Viru ko do saal ka interest or mil jayega, so Viru ka paisa 3000 rupees se bar jayega. Now, this money of 3000 rupees, you see that, abhi ye 500 rupees se every year earning, ye 800 rupees se every year earning ho rahi hai iski. To dono ka gap kitne se reduce hoga. If you, you are earning 500 rupees per month and your friend is earning 800 rupees per month, so your friend is earning 300 rupees more than you, right? So 300 rupees per year ke gap, se, this money will, this gap will get reduced, which is equal to 10 years. That means, Joy ki investment ke 10 saal ke paas, dono ke paas same hoga. But question mein, Viru ki investment ke paas time puchha hai. So 10 plus 2, answer is 12 years. That's the simplest question that you will ever get in any, any, any paper, right? Both simple question. Simple interest ka bilkul basic question. Let's look at question number two. In every video, I'll be covering four to five questions. So in five to six videos, we'll be able to cover one complete slot. Right. Question number two. Again, from uh, profit and loss question. A person spent 50,000 to purchase a desktop computer and a laptop computer. So 50,000 rupees desktop and laptop computer. Pe ki. He sold the desktop at 20% profit. Desktop usne 20% profit pe becha. Laptop ko 10% loss pe becha. Okay, laptop is being sold at 10% loss. If he overall made a 2% profit, okay, then the purchase price in rupees of the desktop is. See that. He has spent 50,000 rupees in total to purchase a desktop and a laptop. So, 50,000 rupees mein desktop and laptop dono ka price hai, right? So, you see that. 20% profit. We do not know he is 50,000 rupees mein se desktop kitne ka or laptop kitne ka hai. But jab usne desktop ko sol kiya, to 20% ka profit earn kiya, laptop ko sol kiya, 10% ka loss usko mila. 
and overall he is able to make a 2% profit than the purchase price in rupees of the desktop is what we are supposed to find out that's the question right so see guys guys very simple question 20% profit or 10% loss ko combine karke mujhe 2% profit pe lana hai you just need a basics of weight basic of weighted average here 20% profit ko 2% profit pe leke aana that means yahan se profit aapko 18% reduce karna hai 10% loss ko 2% profit pe leke aana that means yahan pe isme 12% ko increase karna hai minus 10 se 2 pe aa rahe ho aap minus 10 se 2 pe to 12 ka increment 20 se 2 pe to 18 ka decrement अभी ये लॉस और गेन तभी बैलेंस होंगे जब इनका रेशियो इनके अपोजिट होगा राइट right? 18 और 12 18 का डिक्रीमेंट और 12 का इंक्रीमेंट इन दोनों वैल्यूज को सेम करना है दैट मींस दैट मींस द रेशियोज ऑफ द कोस्ट प्राइस ऑफ ऑफ डेस्कटॉप एंड लैपटॉप शुड बी इन द रेशियो ऑफ 12 रेशियो एटीन दैट सेट दिस इज वॉट यू नीड दैट इज इन द रेशियो ऑफ टू रेशियो थ्री डेस्कटॉप और लैपटॉप का कोस्ट प्राइस का जो रेशियो होना चाहिए वो टू रेशियो थ्री में होना चाहिए टोटल है पचास हजार राइट दैट दैट इज टोटल फाइव सो फाइव के सामने फिफ्टी थाउजेंड टोटल इज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड दैट इज टेन थाउजेंड टाइम आई एम सपोज टू फाइंड आउट द प्राइस ऑफ द डेस्कटॉप सो डेस्कटॉप का प्राइस आएगा ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड राइट सो दैट्स द क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड विल बी द आंसर ऑफ द क्वेश्चन दैट्स इट सो सिंपल राइट वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री दिस इज अ वेटेड एवरेज और यू कैन से द रेशियोस क्वेश्चन बेसिक्स भी आते हैं अगर आपको रेशियो का तो आप इजीली क्वेश्चन को कर सकते हो एन अलॉय इज प्रिपेयर्ड बाय मिक्सिंग मेटल्स ए बी एंड सी इन द प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ 3 4 एंड 7 3 4 7 के अंदर आपने कंबाइन किया दिस इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द क्वांटिटी रेशियो ये क्वांटिटी का रेशियो है राइट 3 4 7 में आपने कंबाइन किया दैट इज 3 यूनिट्स ए का लिया तो बी का 4 यूनिट सी का 7 यूनिट एंड सो ऑन नाउ वेट ऑफ द सेम वॉल्यूम ऑफ द मेटल ए बी सी के सेम वॉल्यूम का वेट जो है दैट इज इन द रेशियो फाइव रेशियो टू रेशियो सिक्स दैट मीन्स इफ आई टेक वन यूनिट ऑफ ए सेम वॉल्यूम एक यूनिट ए का लो एक यूनिट बी का लो एक यूनिट सी का लो तो इनका कंबाइन वेट जो आता है राइट right? uh, इनका वेट का जो रेशियो होगा वो फाइव रेशियो टू रेशियो सिक्स होगा अभी वन थर्टी के जी का अलोए आपने लिया द वेट इन के जी ऑफ द मेटल सी इज बहुत ईजी क्वेश्चन गाइज लेट्स सी सी ए बी सी को थ्री फोर सेवन में मिक्स कर रहे हो वन यूनिट ऑफ एज फाइव के जी तो थ्री यूनिट ऑफ ए विल बी इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन के जी एक यूनिट तीन के जी का तो पांच यूनिट फिफ्टीन के जी का वन यूनिट ऑफ बी इज फोर के जी सो टू यूनिट ऑफ बी वुड बी एट के जी वन यूनिट ऑफ सी वुड बी सेवन थ्री यूनिट वुड बी फोर्टी टू टू सी दैट कि अगर थ्री फोर सेवन में आप कंबाइन कर रहे हो तो ए का वेट फिफ्टीन होना चाहिए बी का वेट एट सी का फोर्टी टू इस रेशियो में होना चाहिए फिफ्टीन प्लस एट ट्वेंटी थ्री Uh, 23, 23 plus 62, 42 would be 65. So if the weight, the total weight is 65 kg, so A ka weight 15, B ka 8, C ka 42 banana chahiye. Total weight ban raha hai, bacho 130. So total weight ko 130 banana hai, which is two times. So A banega 30, B banega 16, C banega 84. Two times, right? We are supposed to find out ki metal C ka weight kitna hai. Answer is 84 kg. That's it. This is the question, right? So it's easy, right? So simple. All right. Plus, uh, last week before the price hike, right? You have to enroll before 14th of April if you want to get admission at these prices on An Academy, and these are the prices which will be in effect after 14th of April. So it's the last week for your subscription at the prices which are the which are compared to the which are low compared to the new prices. You can also practice JLR with me on daily basis at 4 p.m. Thank you so much for watching the video, and 100% syllabus is covered on this LRD Prep channel. Please subscribe to this. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you in the next part.